So this is a bottle. It's also a product on my WooCommerce store, and these are the same bottles, but in different colors and sizes. Now, if I want to sell these on my store, I need to set up variable products. And if you're a beginner watching this video, then you want to do the same, right? Okay. So I searched on YouTube, and it doesn't look that hard. I just need to click on Add Navigation, right? You're kind of there. But most tutorials don't tell you some important stuff. For example, WooCommerce recognizes your store based on the SKU number, and if you don't set that up, it can lead to a bunch of problems. SKU? What's that? All right, let's take an example. Look at those two people right there, X and Y. Now you see what we did there, right? We gave them an identifier so we can tell who is what. And now we need to do the same with these bottles. So this would be pink bottle number one, and this would be blue bottle number two. And if you don't set up the SKU number, then you can end up shipping the wrong product to your customers. Wait, wait, wait! None of the tutorials I have watched said anything about adding SKUs to individual variations. Yeah, and that's the problem. Let me explain. So we've been working with over 5,000 WooCommerce websites for the past 12 years now, and we've seen what actually breaks when real customers place real orders. And trust me, it's always the small things that most people just ignore. Most tutorials just skip over these parts because they've never had to deal with the fallout. They've never had to deal with a customer who got the wrong order, and they've never had to actually refund something. But I've seen it happen over and over again. So, what's the solution? How can you stop all of this from happening to you and your store? Here's how. First, we will learn how to set up simple products. Not just adding a name and a price, but actually setting up SKU numbers, adding the right stock quantity, and making sure your product is ready for everything. Second, you need to know how to configure each variation individually. And third, you need to make sure your products are ready for real-world orders. That means clear images, correct weight and dimensions, and no missing data that could become a problem when you're shipping the order. Now, if all of this sounds kind of boring and time-consuming, that's because it is, and that's exactly why I've built this AI workflow out of frustration. It took me two whole months of trial and error where I tried automating different parts of the process only for something to break here or there. I had to rebuild it over and over again until it finally clicked. And now it helps store owners like you add products faster and better. I'll show you exactly how to use that later in the video. Just a quick note before we start everything. Before you make any changes to your WooCommerce store, like adding products or variations, Please take a backup. Now, the backup plugin I recommend is Blog Vault. It's actually one of our own products, so you can take this with a pinch of salt. But we spent over 12 years building and improving it. And the reason I'm recommending it here is because it's used by thousands of WooCommerce sites because this is the only plugin that takes real time WooCommerce order backups. What does this mean? This means that every time an order is placed, Blog Vault automatically saves that data in the background. So even if your site breaks midway, you have all of your customer information and all of your sales data. All right, when your backup is done, we are going to set up a basic product in WooCommerce the right way. Let's say we're selling this water bottle. So to do this, we're going to first head over to our WordPress dashboard, then go to products and click add new. Now we're going to create a simple product, which is going to be the foundation for everything else later on. All right, first, we're going to give your product a name. And this is what your customer will see first, so make it clear and specific. For example, if you're selling this blue bottle, don't just write blue bottle. You're going to put in your brand name and then the details of the product. So for example, an insulated zipper bottle. Also, this name is what's going to show up in search, on your shop page and inside Google if you're going to connect it with your Google merchant account later. So don't be vague. Now we're going to scroll down and write a short description. Think about what someone would want to know if they're seeing the product for the first time. And make sure you don't just list features, you should write this like you're recommending it to a friend. Now, if writing isn't your thing, even a basic chat GPT prompt like write a short product description for a leak to sipper bottle for gym users with a phone stand, if that's what your bottle is, will give you a solid draft. All right, next, let's add a product image. So click on set product image and upload a clean, well lit photo of your product like this. Now, this is super important. If your image looks blurry, dark, or badly cropped, people won't trust the product no matter how good it is. Now, if you don't have great photos, no problem. You can use ChatGPT for this too. So for example, let me just click a photo of this bottle, put it into ChatGPT, and then tell it to generate a high quality product shot of this water bottle with water splashing near it with a clean aesthetic background. So we're gonna give it a few minutes 
and it should generate an image like this which in my opinion is really cool now i'm not just stopping here i can even tell chat gpt to make an image where a man is drinking from this water bottle then give it a few minutes and it should be ready now it's super easy and then you can just download the images all right now let's move on to the most obvious part which is price so scroll down to the product data section and enter your regular price say $9.99 if you're running a sale or a limited time offer you can add a sale price right below it WooCommerce will automatically strike out the original price and show the discounted one on the product page. Now click over to the inventory tab. This is where you enter your SKU number. So you could write something like uh, blue bottle 01. Even if you're only selling one product right now, it's still a good habit because later when you add variations of color and size, then these SKU numbers will help you track everything correctly and avoid shipping mistakes. Now below that, you'll see a checkbox for managed stock. Now, if you tick that, WooCommerce will automatically track how many units are left in stock. So just enter the quantity, let's say 50, and WooCommerce will handle the rest. Now, it will reduce the stock every time someone buys and even show out of stock when it's done, so you don't have to keep manually updating it. So next up is shipping. If you're charging based on weight or dimensions, you'll want to enter that here. So for example, if this bottle weighs 300 grams, is around 25 centimeter tall, then you put that in. Even if you're offering free shipping, this data can help you estimate the final costs later, especially if you switch to real-time shipping with a plugin or a service like ShipRocket or ShipStation. All right, now let's move to the right-hand side. You'll see product categories, click add new category and name it something like water bottles or gym essentials. This helps keep your store organized and it also makes it easier for customers to browse related products. Now below that you've got tags. These are optional, but they're really helpful when people are searching for your products. So you can add things like leak proof, insulated, or with a phone stand. Now you're almost done. Just scroll up and click on publish to make your product live. All right, you've just set up a product on WooCommerce with solid SEO, solid structure, and none of the common mistakes. And this is important because this is the foundation everything else is built on. Now that we have our simple product life, let's talk about variations. And there's generally two kinds. So type one is where the variations share the same shipping data. So let's take these t-shirts as an example. This is an XL and this is an M, but both of them will fit in the same packaging. So when you're setting up products like this, each variation, small, medium, large, gets a different SKU Maybe it's own stock quantity, but you can keep the shipping settings exactly the same. Now, type two is when each of the variations affect the shipping and the pricing. So if you look at these water bottles, these aren't just cosmetic changes. The size of the product completely changes how you ship it. Obviously the bigger bottle will need a much bigger box. And because of the weight and the dimensions, the shipping charges will also be different. So if you set up variations of products like this, in WooCommerce without adjusting the weight, dimensions and price individually, you're either going to lose money on shipping or charge too much and scare away customers. So here's the rule of thumb. If your variations only change the style or size, but not the way it ships, like most clothing, then you can keep shipping the same across all variations. But if your variations change based on the product's physical size or weight, like bottles, bags, furniture or anything else, you need to set up each variation with its own shipping details. Okay, now let's go inside WooCommerce and I'll show you exactly how to do this step by step. I'll use this bottle as an example as it involves setting up different sizes, prices and shipping. So, step one, go back to the product you created earlier or create a new one if you'd rather start fresh. Scroll down to the product data section and change the drop down from simple product to variable product. Then click on the attributes tab this is where you define what options your customer can choose from. It can be size, color, or material. Let's start with size. In the value field, enter your size options separated by a column like this. Then check the boxes for visible on the product page and used for variations. Now click on save attributes. If you also want to offer color options, repeat the same process. Create a new attribute called color and enter something like blue dash red dash black. Save that too. Now go to the variations tab and select create variations from all attributes. Then hit go. 
Wo commerce will generate every possible combination. So if you added three sizes and three colors, you'll now have nine variations like this. So you can open each variation one by one and fill in the following details. SKU, this needs to be unique for every version like we talked earlier. So for example, the 500 ml blue bottle could be bottle dash 500 dash blue and the two liter red one could be bottle dash 12 dash red. So you can use whatever format makes sense for you. Just make sure they're all different so you don't get confused. Now price, if your larger bottles cost more and they usually do, then set the correct price for each variation. Maybe the 500 ml is $5, the one liter one is $10, the two liter is $15. Don't leave them all at the same price unless that's intentional. Now stock quantity, this is where you tell WooCommerce how many units of each version you have. So if you've got 100 of the blue 500 ml, 50 of the red 1 liter, and only 20 of the 2 liter black, enter that here. Next is image, upload a picture that matches each variation. If someone clicks on red 2L, show them a photo of the actual red 2 liter bottle, not just the generic one. This reduces returns and makes your product page look a bit more professional. Weight and dimensions, this matters a lot for products like bottles. A 500 ml bottle will ship in a smaller, tighter box than a 2 liter one. So to make sure you update this as per the variations, if the size changes. Now we're going to repeat this for each variation and yes, this takes a bit of time, but that is how you add variable products. Now, once you've added the details for all your variations, hit save changes. Now let's go and preview the product on the front end. You should see drop down for size and color and the price should change based on the variation. And then the different images should be loading based on which variation is selected. And that is how a variable product should look and feel. Clean, functional and ready to sell without issues. But getting to that point is the most painful part. It took me nearly this many minutes to add just one product and its variations. But if you want to add 10, 20, 50 or even 100 products, it's just going to drive you crazy. And the worst part is that you can actually make mistakes, especially when you're adding details like SKU numbers or shipping data. That's exactly why I built this AI workflow that uploads product variations in one tenth the time. And yes, it's free and added in the description as well. And it's so easy to use that even a complete beginner can use it. But don't take my word for it. Let me show you why this is awesome. You start with a basic spreadsheet, something that you can either create yourself or get from a client. It includes simple details like the product name, price, available stock, any variations like size or color, and links to images stored in Google Drive. Also, you can include a column like USBs, where you'll list the main highlights of the product you're selling. Normally, you'd have to take that sheet and spend hundreds of hours filling in descriptions, manually uploading images, generating SKUs, tweaking the format, and just hoping WooCommerce doesn't throw an error when you import it. But this workflow flips that entire process. First, it reads and analyzes your sheet and understands the product, not just as data, but context. So if there's a row for a two liter red water bottle, it knows what that means and what a customer might want to know about it. It also checks the USB column to understand that the product has a sipper and a mobile phone holder. Then it starts generating everything that's missing. Now here's the part that usually drives people crazy. Images. You'd normally have to upload them and make sure each image matches the right variation. But with this workflow, it takes the Google Drive links from your sheet, uploads the images into your WordPress media library, and automatically links them to the correct product or variation. No more guessing which file goes where. Finally, the workflow gives you a fully structured sheet, 100% compatible with WooCommerce. You don't have to touch or reformat anything. Just import it and in about a few minutes, your entire product catalog appears on your site. It's clean, fast, and most importantly, it works out of the box. So to recap, we didn't just add variations. We built the exact process to upload variable products directly on WooCommerce. And if you want to access the workflow we have just shown, including the sample sheet, prompts, and everything you need to use it, I've linked that in the description below. And hey, if this video helped you out, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.